Hey everybody, Rodamana here. Thank you for tuning in to Kenshi Shack's Conquest, episode 59, Tome Tomb. Where is, uh, where is that little... So he's up here, right? He had, um... So I think he's supposed to have... But when I looted him, he had a Mark II ring saber. He didn't actually have the weapon he was supposed to have. So I'm not really sure about that. Yeah, the police loot st stuff tends to be a box near the entrance. Um, it will be labeled. I can quick save first to make sure. It would be... is this web cabin? No. So as to not make them mad. These are empty, empty. The safe. Empty. All those are empty. go. Yeah, I actually don't think he had the weapon he was supposed to have. Um. Okay. We are gonna push on. Yeah, he definitely 100% did not have a Mato weapon when he was first downed. That, that, I can tell you, was a Mark II ring saber. I'm 100% sure of that. Because I just sold it to... Um, or no, I, I didn't even sell it. Uh, Rain has it. Or someone. Someone picked it up. I thought Rain had it in this bag, but I guess not. Where did he even go? Yeah, he doesn't have anything special. Well, he's naked, so there's that. Uh, headshot should probably ditch the junk bow, the other junk bow. All right, uh, we're going to be out of here. So you guys want me to go to libraries. Let me work on that. Kang, you're going to bring it home because there was nothing sexy. The guards yoinked it. I thought I stripped. Oh, yeah, they did yoink it when he was on the ground. Was that it? Um, yeah, I don't see anything in the guards' loot chests, so I don't think that them, that it even exists, whatever it was, but it was a Mark, it was a Mark II, so I don't really care, it wasn't special at all. That, and I can't do anything about it, so I'm leaving. Uh, back up here. How is Jackson's training going? You've stopped walking, so that's not good. I want you to keep walking. But your strength is up to four. That's that that part's good. So while Kang runs home, uh, what we should do is we should try to make a set of armor. So we definitely have the blades. We have a helmet. Uh, Kimo is working on a. Kimo's working on a um. A uh, uh whatever uh, the clothing. I'm trying to think the turtleneck, but not everyone has a turtleneck. So, Turta, what I want you to do is to do the white plate jacket. And I think you're actually prioritized to do white plate jacket. We just need to make the armor smithing for it. So, yeah, we'll, we'll have a set of armor except for the pants. So, Kimo, uh, I'll queue up a pair of pants and wooden sandals. But I'm pretty sure I have wooden. Yeah, I already have wooden sandals. So, I'll, I'll queue up the pants, remove the sandals. Because that will be fast to do. We're almost done with all of the regular book research that we had queued up. And Rain, let's get you trading. So I sent Rain up here to the way station. I guess she stopped short. She just sell some of the random junk we, junk we got off of the dust base.
Hello, building. Hello, building. <laughs> there we go. 20th time's the charm. Hey, Tumbling! I got that notification, unlike last time. <laughs> Thanks for the raid, dude. And welcome. Playing Simone. What what uh, what projects were uh, were you working on today in Oxygen Not Included? Anything fun? Is Pearl Earns... Yeah, that's for the thieving trainer. I don't need to keep that. I think that's all I need to sell here. Everything else is edible or medical. So, we'll keep the rest. Welcome, Raiders. If you want to know anything about this series, just type exclamation mark about, and it will tell you. Uh, Kang here, I need to switch over to, because he is... Whoa, blood spiders, huh? Don't fight him. You don't need to prove yourself. Everybody knows you're tough. Just keep moving. So welcome, Raiders. Nope. They don't want... They don't have anything I want. So heading home. Uh, Kang's still... Under attack. Rain, could you pathfind? Jesus. Wow, she is so dumb. I'm trying to get her to, like, move anywhere close to the base, and she just refuses to move an inch. Taming two volcanoes at once. Uh, easy volcanoes, like gold, or tougher volcanoes? King. Uh, everybody's path... Oh, wait, hold on. Let me, uh, let me try to rebuild meth mesh data or something, because I don't know what's happening, but it's... Nothing needed fixing? No, I doubt that. No one seems to want to walk towards Shagger's... Oh my lord. Alright, I'm just going to have to do a lot of manual movement here, because... Mr. Kang here is super broken. At least rain's still moving. Magma volcanoes in the same steam chamber? Oh god. Yep, that is um You've you've picked quite the project, sir. That sounds dreadful. So once we re-rendezvous... Re oh, I'm not... Double-clicking Kang, Jesus. Game, you're killing me here. Keep the doors closed. And check on the map to make sure they're still moving. Yeah, we're still moving together. Sweet. Jackson, how goes it? You're aimless. Keep walking. I know. Your back is gonna break. But it's for the best. So Rain's home. I'm gonna have her uh, put her stuff away. I'm gonna help her manually because she has farming tasks on, so she would do this. Hey, Harry. Welcome. I think the bounty is I'll just keep in one of these chests. This uh, discard pile chest, I guess, seems fine. There's a bunch of um, sort of discarded rep random refuse type stuff that I should probably organize, reorganize of the junk that I just dropped on the way out. But this, this, uh, this backpack now is just mostly relevant medical and tools. Because you never know when you need tools. Pasty! Pernicious Pasty, thank you for the resub. So, Jackson is at, um, no, that's Mike. Jackson is at six. I just realized that Mike is at two. So how about you two switch? Training buddies. Six, six is probably enough to carry his own gear. Um, yoink. 
I don't want to train too much strength because it's harder to train strength once you, or it's harder to train dexterity once you are very strong. So just a little bit of strength training, just enough to get us uh, to be able to wear gear, which will keep us safe. Uh, Night Knave is unconscious. Oh, but Callie already rescued him. He must have uh, taken a friendly fire chest shot uh, while repairing the gate or something. And the king is just up the road. He's almost home. So we have 61k. That's a that's a pretty sizable chunk of money. Um, possibly we could buy some really good blueprints or uh, good prosthetics or something like that. So king, bring it home. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, wait for Night Knave to heal up and have King do one uh, trade run. Getting rid of um, the sort of random stuff that's in the base. So Rain, let's put that backpack away, wherever you are. Where are you? Oh, down by the farm. Band of Bones is not hostile to me. Good. I don't really care. This obviously would be a little bit easier if they stacked. Uh, more iron plates. Oh, we are full of iron plates. Completely and utterly full. So that's not going to work. Some of the stuff that's in, like, the random pile is in there just because we, um, we have no space for it where it belongs. I'm just trying to tidy up a little bit. Okay, that stuff's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, we have armor for Jackson. So we've got pants. Yeah, we've got a set of everything. Perfect. Uh, King's going to take the sam one of the samurai helmets because I'm going to sell it. And he's also going to take these older blades, leaving behind the Trapper Keeper blade as a remembrance. More electrical components. It's too bad these don't stack, but that's fine. Who are we shooting at? Yeah, just your standard dust bandits who are now dead. All right, King's all set. He's going to make a quick run up to the way station, and then we're all going to go to the library. Ah, oh, close, close, close. So you can see these spotlit uh, crossbows here. Kind of cool, right? All eyes on you, buddy. Under God, thank you for the thank you for the follow. I like how they come in one at a time, just line up and die. Oh, we watched you lose a leg. Shepard sec check right leg. Sorry, bud. Come to the wrong base. Uh, Ruka probably doesn't need a um, a stack bag. Do you, girl? No, you don't. So as long as I stay pretty organized with my inventories. I should be able to go on that library raid without too much delay. Seth, thanks to Resub and Milltown too. Who are we shooting at? <laughs> Probably Night Nave. Yeah, Night Nave uh, takes a lot of friendly fire. But it's not Night Nave this time because he's unconscious, or uh, rather resting. All right, Mike, rather than being aimless, just keep walking. One of the huge advantages of this giant um, seawall or whatever, uh, pond wall, Retaining wall is it's easy to queue up really long walking queues. Uh, but Mike walked over here. Show me the dang building. Jesus. Walked over here to get Jackson some gear. So there's obviously gear that I need to sell, but Jackson is now outfitted 
and has pretty much exactly the carry rate required, which is perfect. So whatever you're at, six, is kind of the minimum threshold to meet for our new guys so that they're not uh, encumbered wearing just standard stuff. So five or six is the, the minimum strength that we should consider, apparently. Look at all these idiots, like, lining up to become beak thing food. What dummies. Alright, sell with Kang, and then we'll head out to the libraries. So libraries are, um, are like Labs Junior, if I to oversimplify it, where, um, you're gonna have a locked door, but it's really not gonna be that hard to get in, and there doesn't seem to be, there don't, won't tend to be too many defenders. They're usually relatively un undefended, uh, which makes for good uh, ways to get uh, books. Now, the caveat, however, is that the um, the libraries also don't really have guaranteed uh, books. You have a chance to get ancient books, but you might not. You might just come away with some maps or just a bunch of regular books, not ancient books. Whereas the labs are um, a lot higher rate of finding uh, high-tech research stuff. So labs are, labs are choice. And then there's even... Um, there are two tiers of labs. There's, like, ruined labs, and then there's, like, like, awesome labs. And there's only a few awesome tech labs in the on the map. So there's, there's a very finite amount of, uh, ancient cores and books for you to get. I do have enough- oh, hi. Were you trying to, to shoot at me? You too? Yeah, I don't, I don't I don't want you here. Go away. Be gone. All right, let's get ready to head out. Just have King heal up the tiny scratches that he's sustained. We'll just uh, check everybody. All jobs are off. Everybody rendezvous here, including Mike. So Mike has gotten up to six. Perfect. Uh, horse is at six. Night Knave's at six. Uh, Eguvin is at three. So Eguvin and Thorfinn need a little bit of strength training, but I'm not going to take the time to do that now. I'm, I'd rather just go and head to a library, and I'm sure you guys probably want the same. So anyone that's hurt should rest quickly so that we're fully healed heading out. And then I'm going to go through them and make sure that nobody has um, incorrect inventories. Don't uh, run as a group. Like Glitch, who's got, you know, multiple blades that, you know, he can look cool like Deadpool. Oh, we have another turtleneck. Um, who needs this? Uh, Kimo needs it. Kimo, you made a turtleneck. You get to wear it. Glitch also has a new Mark One blade. That I can give out to Kimo. Double gear, dude. Double gear. So these Cat 3 blades, I'm not even going to bother uh, handing out. Just going to sell them. Alright, let's go through the roster. Making sure that everybody's put everything that should be away, away. So no one's going to be hauling ore or something silly. Uh, for where we're headed. Like Shona with the iron plates. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. I mean, she's a steel worker, so it makes sense that she'd have them, but it doesn't make sense that she keeps them. Looks to me like uh, my raw iron is rather low, so I might want to see to that. And then Mike, I think what I'm going to do is we'll keep this encumbrance backpack intact because it has some iron in it. And I'll just put it here uh, as a quick way to encumber. 
put Jackson down. Also, you need to eat desperately. Headshot doesn't need two bows. I'll have to make sure to sell the other one. And I think we're good to go. We have a little bit of injuries, but nothing nothing all that concerning, especially given that I'm not going anywhere all that dangerous. So, rally up and tally-ho. I don't believe a single uh, Dust Bandit actually managed to get behind our walls, which is good. Oh, I forgot food. Um, who's got the big bag on? King? Go get our food. Good enough. Can uh, Jackson push heavy weapons eventually? Sure, yeah. The weapon preference is entirely up to you guys. Uh, what you guys want. Except for crossbows. That's the caveat. Only headshots allowed to have crossbows. So slowest of the group, I think, is still Jackson, even though he has the strength to hold his gear. And uh, we are going to head through the swamp. Not exactly the safest spot to go. I'm also going to go squad AI and do random. I'm not going to do military formations. So weapon preference... Uh, any preference at what type of heavy? Because there's multiple heavies. You know, there's, um... Falling Suns, Planks. Frag Axes. Frag Axe! Oh. Ouch. Oh, God, Thor. Why are you walking? What? You guys are idiots. There's no reason for you to be hit by, um... Blood Spiders, because you're supposed to be so much faster than them. So, what the heck is with walking slow for no reason? Frag axes, I would say, are sort of the Shek weapon, which is heavy weapons. Uh, but but it's... I don't really care what the Shek normally wear. Ow, Jesus. This, this one's on... Crank. Keep it away from me. Blood spiders. Out for blood. Thank you, Kang. Um, I'm just going to leave it unconscious there, because I actually don't want teeth. I'd rather just have it rot. So who got clipped, Thor? Yeah, you're fine. We'll all laugh at you. All right, heading into Shark. So I'm heading into Shark to see if I can't get some more wanted posters. And then I'm going to head to the libraries. Oh, jeez. Even more. Oh, splash damage. Okay, fine. Mike, oh, don't stand. Oh, you bozo. Why are you so slow, Mike? Actually, given how slow you are, go chase Jackson. Don't worry about this. The uh, the veterans will take care of this. Our kangaroo can talk, Chip. Uh, everyone, I mean, they're one of the stronger ones, yeah. But they started strong, you know? Because when you recruit them, they're not level zero. Gotta get my meat. Everyone follow Jackson. And Jackson, hold up and let people rally to you. We had Mike, for no good reason, fall behind. Uh, I'm not loving the fact that there is significant blood on the ground. That's indicator that we're probably near blood spider areas. So let's just keep moving. I think everyone's here. Best way to check is to click drag and make sure all portraits are highlighted.
All right, we're good. We're actually moving, which is fantastic. So we're heading into Shark to try to find some additional wanted posters so that I, I can know the bosses that I'm taking down rather than just to go random places where I know bosses are. That That's kind of lord breaking. And then we're going to go to libraries. So here's the Grey Flare Village. No real reason to stop here. We don't want hashish. Or hemp. I like the uniformity of our uh, of our group. Everyone pretty much identically looking the same gear and all that. Katanas and all. <laughs> I mean, Nellis is a little big, but everybody else looking the same. Can see see your name from here? Yep, there you are, Trustin. So the point of reference that I said uh, with Jackson skills, because he was one across the board. Uh, obviously, the strength came from the lifting, but he gained two melee attack, a melee defense, uh, two decks. He didn't even gain toughness in that um, that fight, and then the athletics and swimming is a result of us running around. So not a lot of um, not a lot of training because that was such a short fight. It wasn't all that prolonged because the dust boss went down and the rest of the dusters were easy to kill. And then the other point of reference was what night knife, I think. A night knife skill went up a little bit, a little bit as well. So, Bobbers, 23 hours, but I think if we're not home, it won't matter. It's not like that raid will render. We'll just be a little dot on the map that doesn't do anything. Let's uh, break formation, heal up, and have Kang pop in for bounty notices. Oh, that's Ruka. Just because he's fast. Oh, this is all the letters from Swampers. I don't want that. He's fast, but he's actually kind of encumbered. Oh, I don't want to gamble. Um, yeah, this is the wrong place for notices. Where is the... Yeah, here's the shop. I don't know if this shop has notices, but I doubt it does. All right, off we go. If I could use my map correctly. So we are... I'm going to double check the workshop complex because I'm not 100% sure I hit all points of interest there. And that would be a, a sort of a freebie. Night Nave, you want a flesh cleaver? Sure. You said hacker previously, so... Flesh Cleaver it is. What's going on over here? Blood Spiders versus Red Sabers? So we actually had the bounty for the Red Saber boss. That, that's not what we're up to. So I'm going to go back to the complex uh, to make sure that I got everything that I needed to get. Now, Especially now that we have higher lockpick skill. And then I'm going to pass by the complex to go to um, libraries trying to get more tech I think I think uh, once I get a little bit more tech you guys can vote on how I spend it but I'd imagine that like uh, a stronger gate might be in order I'm not gonna redo all the walls but at least a gate would be good oh don't swim eh, I guess it's a skill we need to build up anyway but Rockvin and Kang are particularly bad at swimming because of their robotic parts. If there's a large enough uh, swamp turtle swarm to fight, 
I'll stop to fight it, but I'm not going to stop for just the one. Kind of a waste of time. Whoa! Sandstorm! That was loud. Unpleasant. Does anyone know by heart uh, how many lootable sections of the grid there are? Is it two or three? Because I think we did two. But I'm always... I always mean to go into the um, the FFC to check the uh, the editor. To check the amount. Because it's, it's hard to find them because of all the overgrowth. But it's just on my way to where I'm headed anyway. I'm headed down to some of these ruins down here. You thought I checked all three? Well, one of them is completely empty. But that's not one of the ones I meant. I'll just double check. Be prudent. Especially now that we can take down big things uh, rel relatively easily. Uh, this area doesn't scare me like it used to. I mean, we st should still be diligent, but... I think what might make sense is to have, um... Alright, Kane, give your backpack up to Ruka. Does anyone else have a bag? Because I have so much raw meat on me. Alright, that's better. I could cook the meat, but I'm not going to stop for that. I still have things to eat. I just have Kang run around here real quick, checking. So here's one. And I'm 90, uh, this, this is the one that's empty. Has nothing in it. Got it. That leads out. Here's another. Oh, it's just the top shell. That one doesn't count. That leads out. You think I checked all three? Yeah, I mean, I think I did, but I just want to make sure. Not leave uh, skill books and the like behind, because they're rare. And I'm pretty sure I searched this one, because it looks like things that would normally be locked are unlocked. And empty. So I've been through this. Yeah, definitely. Been through this. Lock complexity, 46 unlock. Alright. Uh, everybody else... Follow Jackson, and Jackson, you keep going to that ruin. We're not going to stop in that ruin for... Um, for good reasons, but we're going to walk by it. I might poke my head in, though. Where's the last one? Is it... And uh, nope, that's not the last one. And then there's that sub submerged one that isn't lootable as well. I think there's supposed to be one over this way. Eh, yeah, whatever. I'm just gonna fall back to Jackson. I'm pretty sure we got it all. Camera work in here is uh, dreadful. Oh, is this the last one? No, I think this is the one I've already searched. All right, we're heading to the crater. I saw blinking. Mike blinked. Oh, yep, we got some beaks. Beaks on her six.
Best thing to do is to divide and conquer. Not be, not have too many people in the fight and not be within the splash zone. So everybody else, oh, but I see some numbers. Oh yeah, there's more beaks. Um, hmm, gonna be annoying. All right, who is, oh, Oren, you're capable. You hold this one down. And then Rockvin, you'll take this one. Just trying to minimize um, injuries so we don't have to uh, slow down too much. Now, um, if you micromanage it, it's also very easy to duo it, where you have uh, one person stand behind, one person stand in front, but when you have so many fights uh, at the same time, like, oh, we have three more coming from the south. King is being doubled. I did send Tardigizo and Greaser over to help. Uh, I think some of the original ones are going to drop pretty soon. And then headshot. Oh, God, there's uh, four more. Larry. Fang. I guess this is good training, right? We're out for combat training, so hey, we're doing it. Just not where and when I wanted to. Everybody pair up and do si do. Uh, Kang had two, but I think one peeled off and is being engaged. Uh, Rockvin killed his rather quickly because he's helping Oron. Rockvin did it first. There wasn't a prediction for that, but Rockvin went for the chest continually over and over and over until it died. Oh, hello. Larry, this is your pickup. I feel like I'm playing uh, uh, an MMO where like, I have to make sure to uh, tank the ads to talk the lingo. Oh, Fang, you're not supposed to be helping out. I think Fang downed his as well. Yep, Fang got his. So there's two of them unconscious up here. Don't worry, I'm going to be looting them in a second. I'm just going to focus on the fighting for now. But this, this would be... Uh, I, what I could do is I could have people duo it a little bit more. Uh... But this, this would be my strategy for dealing with big things, is to split them up so that they're not in big groups. Because the big groups with the splash damage is really what makes it dangerous. And then to divide and conquer. Um, this strategy here, probably the best... Oop, I didn't mean to do that, Larry. Sorry. This strategy here, probably the best, where you have one in front, one in back. Uh, and that's going to be fastest. Two in back if you want to really be risky. But it also depends on the mods you're running. Um, so Larry, you are not faring as well as everybody else. Uh, Fang, you come down and replace Larry, because I don't want um, someone to be really injured from this fight. So Larry, you stay out of it. Uh, Rain's finished. Rain, you can help Greaser. Ruka Kang are finished. They'll help Turta. Oh, and there's a new one. So Rain, go for the new one. The new baby. Uh, Larry, you get yourself over here. And... This one's down. Bit too many on this target. Peel off. Gizo's done. Headshot should not be fighting like this, so Fang, you go help. Uh, Greaser's is still up, so Oron, stop. You two. 
done and back. Uh, not too in front. Come on. Come on, Rook. Okay, they're done with that one. Too many, two targets. Too many cooks in the kitchen, right? So, you two. Leave. Headshot can stay, because she doesn't take up a, a, a slot. Alright, that one's done. You two go. And they're all dead. All, like, uh, what, ten or so? Now, pile in one big group and patch. I don't think anyone got too, too hurt. Larry was definitely the most wounded. Um, I dropped my backpack, which I'm going to go get. Was that a nest? No, it was just, um... Uh, it's just a beak thing spawn around here. This is a very typical spot to find them. In my, at least in my experience. Alright, Kang, uh, you're already kind of encumbered, so what I'm going to do is, um... I'm going to loot them with... Like this. Just each person pick up a little, a little meat. Before they start, uh, regaining consciousness. And I'll probably not cook them unless I uh, run out of food, because it will just take too long. Oh, one's up. Fully in tilt, you deal with this. I think they've all been looted. Yes, yes, dead, dead, dead. Yep, they're all dead. So some of the ones up top are not looted yet. Looted. Passive and hold off. Alright, so here's one that needs looting. Done. And this one, I believe. Yep. What if you go get that one? And I think we've finished off all of them. If we haven't, we're going to be on our way, so it won't really matter. Uh, Larry, are you still fast enough to run with the uh, run with everybody else? 18 miles an hour. Yep, you are okay. You've been splinted. You are the slowest, though. So we're going to follow Larry, and we're going to get out of the cr this specific area of the crater. That was pretty good, don't you think? I mean, that was a lot of big things. What was her full head count? A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? I think. That's that's almost a full nest. And we got we came away with very, very minimal injuries. Even though they got the drop on us. Cause I divided and conquered and, and tried to split them up and I could have microed it a little bit better, but it was pretty good. So here, this is obviously a lab. Um, I'm going to have King just check out how busy it is inside. Uh, but if you're getting PTSD deja vu, uh, don't worry. Me too. Me too. Uh, two spiders on the bottom floor. Yep, yeah, we're just going to keep moving. We're not quite at the point where I can clear labs... Um, as efficiently as we want. Plus, uh, you all voted on me going to library, so we're gonna head to a library so I can demo what a library looks like. Uh, I see some big things off to our three o'clock. Let's keep moving. Follow Larry, and we're gonna head uh, southwest. We're gonna head to this ruin here. So for the record, I have knowledge of that. Oh, what is this? I have knowledge of that ruin because we bought a. Oh, uh, yep, swamp raptors versus big things. I bought a um, 
I bought a map that showed me this ruin, so I know it's a I know it's a library because I purchased the map. Very rough terrain around here. All right, we're in Shun. I'll check out some of these other facilities at a later time because they're close to home and convenient to get to. Now, let's see if I can't splint um, Larry up a little more. Nope. All right, well, just hobble on over, dude. Sorry about your leg. So Larry is uh, one of the less trained uh, people in the squad than uh, some of the better fighters, which is why that beat thing um, took some chunks. So if you look at the difference here, uh, Larry has a strength of eight, um, mid-20 combat stats versus like Ruka, who's um, low 40, mid 30s and stronger. Plus, there's obviously just a um, a little bit of chance involved, too. You know, you can... One bad uh, hit, and you get staggered, and then the beak thing gets follow-up hits on you. Two or three follow-up hits, and then all of a sudden, you're considerably uh, wounded. Meaning that you are easy easier for the beak thing to fight you, because your combat stats have been lowered because of your, uh, because of your injuries. So, it's not just a matter of skill, it can just be chance thing gets a lucky blow, and all of a sudden you're way behind. So this is Hook. Heard of this place? He said there's ancient libraries to the south. Should be ripe for looting. Oh. You don't say. You don't say. That's great and all, but I think it's the Empire that should be worried about right now. Why? Who's even speaking? Oh, Tilk is. And horse. How about we survive the rogue slavers and the corrupt samurai first, and then focus on treasure hunting? Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's wise. So here's what a library looks like. Uh, there's really no loot around the library. It's, it's, um, and there will be a locked door. Oh, boy. Oh, that was interesting. Um, I rushed the door to smash it and shoved some of my people through it. So you can right-click smash. Uh, I guess... Els is not skilled enough to pick even this one. No, he is. So let's, uh, I'd rather pick and train my picking skills. So Els has about a quarter chance. To pick it. Kang and Shona have seven and six percent chances, and it's picked. All right, people can wait outside. Uh, Rockvin, you are our s chief scientist. You will, uh, you'll, you'll look at this. So here's an old map. This old map leads us to nothing. It's just trade good parchments, more old maps. All right, let me put this old map down. I don't really want it. Uh, we have a generic research book. Not worth that much. And we are not going to be able to pick through that. So, Kang. Here, let me let me group them up so it's a little bit easier for me to pick when I need to pick. So, Els and Shona are going to be two, three, four. So now all of them pick this. And I think that's all the containers for the bottom floor. Sometimes there's containers underneath the stairs here, but not in all of the libraries. Um, there's this box, which is empty, and then there's the boxes nested in the shop front. And there's a map of a post-ancient workshop. Which is... up here in the purple sands. 
So that's a, a good point of reference for later. And then there's also upstairs. But I'm going to wait until the downstairs is done. Reprogramming workshop. Uh, don't Definitely don't want to go there. Uh, lost armory and a dead workshop. So let's... Here is the reprogramming, which will be... Here, in the Black Desert City. Uh, the Lost Armory. There's a lot of Lost Armies, but this one is for near Crab, near Green Beach. And then there is the Dead Workshop, which is all the way down in the pits east. Okay. No books so far. The libraries aren't a great uh, source of books. I don't really need leather. And then there is... Things to loot. Nope. Oh, all burnt. Spider factory. Way out here in the Forbidden Isle. Uh, there is some... I'm not going to spoil it. Well, I'll just say that the foreman's out that way. Uh, another lost armory. This one is just north of Black Desert City. Lost armory is a good way to find some sort of like miscellaneous gear. And a bunch of more burnt books. So... Four more regular research books. So there's really not much here. Uh, the workbenches don't tend to have stuff on it, so you can try to loot the workbenches, but uh, I've never ever found um, that it has stuff. Um, I believe we needed a hinge for one of the lockpick trainers back home. We needed springs and hinges, I think. Uh, if someone could Google that, I don't have it memorized. And I believe this uh, library is already picked through. Just double checking to make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay. There's a, there's another library ruin um, just up the river that I'm going to head to. And I think Jackson is the slowest cuz uh, Larry healed up as we waited. So I'm going to I'm going to ford the river. Thank you for tuning in to Kenshi Shaq's Conquest, which originally streamed live on Twitch December 16th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Baradamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. Also, I suggest joining Discord. On Discord, I do game giveaways, and you can also sign up for notifications for when I go live. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Twitch subscribers, Patreon patrons, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Shaq.